Hi everyone, it's Soul Guidance Monday. I want to talk today to all those people out there that are just getting into learning about following their soul, getting into their own intuition, following their gut instinct, really trusting in their own inner voice that helps them make better choices every day. Now, I started doing this in 2003, I think it was, January 2003, I just read about seven astrology books and I was going through my um, master's in computers. And of all the books I ever studied or read, the astrology books made more sense to me than any other books. And yet, I had no idea there were restrictions in the world out there. I had read the Bible three times. I had brought, been brought up Methodist, so I really had a really relaxed religion. But what was great is my mom would have me go with friends to their church. And Jehovah Witness was one. Catholic was another. I mean, there were so many different religions um, I, I went to and learned about. But the one thing that was common is that all of them had the golden rule, which is treat others as you would like to be treated. So I took that away in life, and I just, I realized that you could be nice to someone, but n not everyone's going to be nice back to you. So go forward uh, from there. When in 2003 I started learning astrology, I started uh, telling everybody about it and was so excited about it and that my psychic abilities got stronger and stronger. I had always been psychic all my life, and I just figured everybody else was. And I would even dream my life in advance, about two weeks in advance. And I just assumed everybody had the ability to do what I did. So when I started explaining to people at that moment what was going on, they'd get freaked out. So I learned to kind of keep my mouth quiet about it because it just was not accepted. And at the time, I will tell you, things that were not accepted at that time, meditation, yoga, Saying the word Om was not even accepted at that time. But there were still people that would do it quietly. And as we get closer and to a higher evolution of energy, we're finding more people are finding yoga is socially acceptable. Saying the word Om is acceptable. Meditation is acceptable. It wasn't always like that. So what I, I look at here is, you know, people make a judgment on everything until it's socially acceptable. And we'll look at the ice, buck cha ice bucket challenge that's going on with ALS. I've known about Lou Gehrig's di disease for the last 10 years and how difficult it's been for them to uh, get people to <clears throat> donate. And here's a challenge that they're making $3 million in the last week. That's fantastic and how wonderful that is. But if somebody was just out there drawing ice water on the back of their head for the heck of it, um, it wouldn't be socially acceptable. But since all these big name players are challenging one another, they're doing it. And it's, it's making a big impact on the world of not only ALS, but all the other charities that people uh, hold dear, near and dear to their heart. So uh, it's pretty impressive how this whole thing is going on. But again, my suggestion is when you start following your soul, know your intentions. If your ten intentions are love every time you go to do something, you're going to get that back. If you're unsure of your intentions, you're going to get people that are not going to give you the best reception on that. If you do it for other reasons, hate or um, revenge or for negative reasons, you're going to get that negative feeling back. So you got to be careful. You get what you give in life. You get what you give. So let's take a look at our card for today. We're going to do the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards. Colleen gifted me these. She got these in um, Big Sur. So let's see. Detailed details. The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. Well, here is the card, number 43, but it was upside down. So I will put it right side up so you can see how beautiful and magical that looks. 
And it's interesting, if you look in the card under the microscope, it says clarity. So here it is. Heed the gentle warning that perfectionism will not lead you to what you desire, but instead will steer you away from it. Nothing will be good enough when you become obsessed with being perfect. No one can ever measure up to your scrutiny, and nothing that you can ever do will assuage that general feeling of not being up to par. You're perfect already, just as you are. Reverse the detailed details card challenges you to accept things as they are in all their perfection, to step into the world and engage it without any expectations. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. I love that. You know, I saw a really great video on spirit science and it was about sacred geometry. And it was talking about no matter what choice you made, good or bad, everything is in divine order. Everything is happening exactly the way it's meant to happen. So when you go about your week this week, remember that everything is in divine order. Everything is perfect. Suggestion, do it lovingly, do it kindly, enjoy life, do things out of love for yourself and others, honor yourself always. Have a great Monday, and I'll see you sometime this week.